If the day ever comes that you have to use a gun to protect yourself, how many rounds do you think you'll need? A man is dead after police say he forced his way into another man's home in Chickasha. Well, the Chickasha police chief tells me the homeowner knew the man who broke into his house. In just seconds after the intruder got inside, he was greeted by gunfire. I mean, it was just pop, 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 pop. I mean, just, just, just as, you know, as quick as someone could squeeze a trigger. Gunshots ringing out. Um, in which a subject had broken into the home. As subject made entry into the home, the homeowner opened fire. I mean, it happened so fast. I walked outside and could smell gunpowder right away. More than a dozen shell casings were left scattered all over the floor. I heard uh, rounds being fired off, uh, sound between 10 to 15 rounds. The intruder was pronounced dead at the scene. The Chickasha police chief confirms the two did know each other. Why the man broke in is also still being investigated by the department. So once we notify next of kin, we may be able to release more details, but it's going to take some time and in investigation. The Chickasha police chief says whether or not the homeowner will face charges is up to the district attorney. Well, it looks like this homeowner shot at least 12 times because there were at least a dozen shell casings scattered across the floor. I've taken my fair share of firearm self-defense training courses and there is one thing every single one of these instructors say over and over again. Keep shooting until the threat is no longer a threat. Not keep shooting until the person dies, but until that person is no longer a threat. So going back to the question I asked at the beginning of this video, if the day comes and you have to use your gun to protect yourself, how many rounds do you think you'll need? The answer is all of them. You don't know. You could be attacked by four people, 10 people, or one person hopped up on drugs and refuses to stop killing you. Or some people just don't wanna die even when they're not hopped up on drugs. There is literally a cop that carries 145 rounds of ammo on the job. Yes, you heard me, 145 rounds. And his name is Timothy Graymans. Wanna know why he carries 145 rounds? Because in 2008, he got into a gunfight with one criminal where he shot 33 rounds and had to hit the criminal 14 times before he stopped trying to kill him. By the time the EMS arrived, the criminal was still showing vital signs. He didn't even die until he got to the hospital. The crazy thing is, there were no signs of drugs or alcohol in this criminal system. After this shooting, he went from carrying 47 rounds of 45 to 145 rounds of 9 millimeter. I don't care how many studies people do on the average number of shots fired in a self-defense shooting. I don't care how many rounds Joe Biden thinks I needed my gun. I don't care how many anti-gun Karens scream and yell asking, why does anybody need that many bullets in their gun? Because I nor anyone else knows how many rounds you'll actually need to protect yourself if the day ever comes where you are forced to do so. Imagine if instead of this police officer whose line of work makes it easy for him to carry 145 rounds on his person, it was you having to deal with that criminal who refuses to die. But you don't have 45 rounds in your gun, much less 145 rounds, because Joe Biden and the rest of the anti-gun lobby want to limit your magazine capacity to 10 rounds. This is why a magazine limitation is so dangerous. Hell. You wouldn't want a cop showing up with only 10 rounds in his gun to save you. So why the hell would anyone want to be limited to 10 rounds in their personal gun? The goal of self-defense is to survive. And because you only get one of those things we call life, you should want all the bullets in the world to protect that one life, whether it be 15, 20, 145, or 10,000. As I've said countless times, I don't want the fight for my life to be a fair fight. This isn't Street Fighter. We don't get to engage in combat and then respond if we lose. Because of this, I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna do everything possible to make sure I make it home or get you out of my home. And that's exactly what this man did. So, unless he's spraying bullets everywhere endangering other people, I have no problem with the fact that he shot a dozen times as long as he's not hurting anyone else. The way a man defends his castle is none of our business. But you know what is your business? This holiday sale I have going on right now at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. Right now, everything at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com is 20% off. That includes the two-way beanies, the two-way water bottles, the hearing protection, and all of the shirts, hats, and hoodies, except for the Vault-Tec products. However, 
If you spend $200, you will get a $50 gift card towards your next purchase at shop.mrcolonwar.com. And that $50 gift card can be applied to any product on the site. Yes, if you spend $200 and it includes a vault -Tec product, you will still receive the $50 gift card. Now keep in mind, this is a limited time only sale. So you might wanna hurry up before the sale ends or everything gets sold out. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and most importantly, Make sure you hit that bell symbol.